Lin's skeleton warriors first killed the monsters they had lured before, and then Lin used his ultimate skill, corpse explosion, on those monster corpses. The explosion was immense, shattering the ground and incinerating the nearby monsters. Mu Xian covered her ears because of the loud explosions and was scared by the power of Lin's corpse explosion skill, wondering what this skill was. After the smoke cleared, a system notification informed Lin that they had received 94 earth fragments, and with Mu Xian's collection skill, they received an additional 94 earth fragments. Seeing Mu Xian's skills in effect, Lin commented, No wonder master collectors are one of the most sought-after professions. He approached Mu Xian and told her this was just the first wave and more was coming. Just as Lin said that, Mu Xian heard a noise. When she looked back, she was shocked to see another group of monsters that the skeleton warriors had lured. Realizing this was how Lin had been farming monsters, she swung her huge hammer and began fighting the monsters. Observing her fight, Lin wondered how, with her personality, she had reached level 55. But he admitted that Mu Xian's combat sense was not bad. She was handling many monsters comfortably. After the skeleton warriors killed some of the monsters, Lin again used his corpse explosion to destroy this group of monsters. The process continued for a while. Mu Xian was slightly exhausted but was finally getting used to this kind of mass extermination. After clearing the area, Lin suggested they go deeper into the dungeon, and she agreed to follow him. While walking, Lin suddenly remembered and asked Mu Xian why they had set up a tombstone for him. Mu Xian explained that after Lin lured the ancient Luan bird away, they saw the explosions from afar and felt their power. They thought Lin must have died, so in remembrance, they made a tombstone for him. She apologized for the misunderstanding, and Lin couldn't argue as he knew he couldn't refute this. As they went deeper, some monsters attacked them. Mu Xian killed them with her hammer while casting her collection skill, and Lin received 108 earth fragments, with an additional 108 through Mu Xian's collection skill. After receiving this batch of earth fragments, Lin told Mu Xian it was enough. He took out all 1,000 earth fragments from his inventory, and all those earth fragments joined together and turned into the Heart of Earth, an essential item for evolving into an Earth Knight. Seeing the Heart of Earth form, Lin declared that with it, Earth Knights could rise among humans once again. Mu Xian was amazed to see the Heart of Earth for the first time, but looking at the dungeon, she asked Lin if this dungeon didn't end this simply. They hadn't seen a single elite monster or boss so far. Looking at a path ahead, Lin said it must be possible to combine more than one heart of earth. Let's keep moving, he suggested. They continued along the path and reached a cliff. Looking down, Lin told Mu Xian this was the real earth heart world. Below the cliff was a wide rocky area covered in magma, with magma rivers flowing in the real earth heart world. He summoned a skeleton warrior and ordered it to go down and check, but just as the skeleton warrior jumped from the cliff, huge veins emerged from the ground and grabbed the skeleton warrior mid-air immediately pulling it into the magma. Lin received a system notification that his skeleton warrior had been destroyed. Both Lin and Mu Xian were shocked by those veins, wondering what they were. Lin summoned many skeleton warriors and asked Mu Xian to join him as they descended from the cliff. All the skeleton warriors jumped down alongside Lin and Mu Xian. As they did so, the veins attacked the skeleton warriors again. Lin ordered his skeleton warriors to find the master of these tentacles. The monster attacking them was a level 52 earth flower an elite leader monster with 60,000 strength, 20,000 agility, 30,000 spirit, and 80,000 constitution. Its skills included whip, pollen, and regeneration, and it possessed fire attribute immunity. Lin was disappointed, wondering if this level 52 monster was all they had to face. Just as he spoke, several fish-like monsters emerged from the magma to attack. These were level 50 earth firefish with 40,000 strength, 20,000 agility, 30,000 spirit, and 50,000 constitution. Mu Xian was slightly surprised by these monsters. Lin immediately used his skeleton fang skill, which caused fangs to shoot up from the ground and strike the earth fire fish. System kill notifications popped up rapidly as Lin killed many of the earth fire fish in one attack, earning him 1 million experience points and several earth fragments. Mu Xian smiled and thanked Lin, but mentioned she thought she could handle these fire fish on her own. Suddenly, the earth flower attacked them with its vines, targeting Mu Xian. However, Lin's skeleton armor activated and protected her. A skeleton warrior then grabbed the corpses of the earth fire fish and threw them toward the earth flower. Lin used his corpse explosion skill on the earth fire fish, and the resulting explosion directly hit the earth flower, burning it in the blast. Mu Xian quickly used her collection skill to gather the rewards from the earth flower. Despite the attack, the earth flower used its regeneration skill to heal itself. Seeing this, 
Lin remarked on the great vitality of plant-type monsters and declared that he needed to kill it in one blow. He used his corpse explosion skill again on the remaining earth firefish corpses, which exploded and ultimately killed the earth flower. Lin gained 2.1 million experience points and received 500 earth fragments, plus an additional 500 from the collection skill. Surprised that they had collected enough earth fragments to form a heart of earth, Lin smiled and noted that having a combat resource like the heart of earth was naturally better for them. He encouraged Mu Xian to keep moving. As they explored the dungeon, Mu Xian felt it was strange that there were no monsters in the surroundings. Lin also sensed that something was wrong, noting that usually only areas around bosses are devoid of monsters. Suddenly, Lin was shocked to see something in a corner, a level 55 ancient earth dragon, a weakened territorial boss with 100,000 strength, 60,000 agility, 70,000 spirit, and 120,000 constitution. It possessed skills like Flame Dragon Breath, War Trample, and Dragon Tail Sweep, and its traits included reducing physical damage received by 70%, elemental damage by 70%, and greatly weakening curse effects. Both Lin and Mu Xian were shocked to find a boss monster there. 